So this is the easiest thing you can play on the mbira. But before we get into that, let's quickly look at the note layout of the instrument. So if you look at on one side, there are smaller notes and on the other side, there are bigger notes. And in the middle there, there is a note which is neither big nor small. So we can forget that one or ignore that one for now. And then you start counting from the other smaller notes like one, two, three, four that fourth note is the note which you play using your right hand thumb and on the left hand side you play the second from last note on the top row i'm sure you can see there are two rows here so on the top row second from last and then you play those two notes three times before you make the first change like this and then for the first change, the right hand thumb remains on that note, but then the left hand moves from that note to that note, and then you play three more times before you do the other change. So the whole thing from beginning will sound like this. And then for the third change, you go back where you started, and then for the fourth change, this left hand stays where it is, but then the right hand moves from that note to the next note. So the whole thing from beginning will sound like this. Now, the mbira is not usually played two notes at a time like that. It's usually played in arpeggios, which means one note at a time. So let's break that up so that we play one note at a time like we're actually playing the mbira. So we start on the left hand. So it'll be left, right, left, right, left, right, and it will sound like this. So there's an interesting thing here because if you look at these last two notes that you've been playing using the left hand thumb are also found here. I'm sure you can hear that's the exact same sound that those two notes are producing. So guess what that means? That means that melody can be played using only one hand and two fingers, something like this. And that gives the left hand an opportunity to play other things while the right hand is playing the melody, something like this. So one thing that discourages a lot of people who are learning to play the mbira is they approach it as if it's a toy and they just use that toy to learn one gimmicky tune and then they go to their friends and they're like, ah, I can play mbira, let me show you something. And then they just play that one gimmicky thing. But then when the same people are approaching a Western instrument like guitar, violin, piano, they know it's going to take years to learn so they don't wing it or learn a gimmicky thing. They go to a teacher and get or a tutor and gets lessons for years until they can play the instrument properly so that's the same approach you should take when learning the mbira as well because this is a very powerful instrument because as you could see you can also play the melody as well as the bass using the same instrument so you can even play something like this mm -hmm. 